This video will help you with the basics of central source net on the FortiGate firewall. How is it different from the conventional firewall policy that uh, does the source net? And how to enable the central source net using the CLI command and from the GUI. So before uh, starting, with the configuration of central source net. So the first question is what is central source net? So central source net basically allows you to configure policy that can explicitly do the source netting for the traffic that goes from inside to outside. And it gives you more granularity when you are configuring the netting as compared to the conventional netting that we do under policy and object, firewall policy. For example, one of the scenarios where you can use central source net would be, so this is the firewall policy, the traditional policy where you used to configure the source net. And if you use dynamic IP pool, the firewall will not have any control over how the port translations will happen for the outgoing traffic. But when you're using central source net, you can actually define how the firewall will do the netting and the patting port translation. And the central source NAT feature is available from 6.2.0 version. Right now I'm working with 7.2.1 version. And if your firewall is in policy based mode, then the central source NAT is enabled implicitly. But when the firewall is in profile based mode, then you will have to explicitly enable the central source net. For example, first we'll try to enable the central source net from the GUI. Go to system, go to settings. And if you scroll down, first of all, I'll show you the firewall mode, which is pol profile based right now so below that you see an option called central source net well if you click on policy base you will see that option is no more available and if you click on apply it will give you the notification stating that this will enable central source net so if you switch to policy based mode you will have central source net enabled by default and since our firewall is in policy based, profile based mode, so what we'll do is we'll try to enable the central source net from the GUI. Click on apply. So now we have central source net enabled. And I'll show you from the CLI as well. So let me try to disable the central source net okay so now we'll try to do it from the cli and one more thing is central source net policy lookup will happen after the traditional firewall policy lookup so that means that you should have the allow policy first configured under the secured under the policy and object firewall policy and then you will have to define the central source net policy that i'll show you in some time and to enable central source net from the cli you will have to get into system settings and then enable central net
now we have the central source NAT enabled. Let's try to verify it from the GUI. So you can see here, central source NAT is enabled. So now the first visible difference would be if you go to So if you go to policy and objects, you have the firewall policy to allow the traffic first that that the firewall will, this will be looked up first, the firewall policy from top to bottom, and then comes the central source NAT. So once you enable central source NAT inside the settings, you will have a separate tab for central source NAT for NATing and you will have to define the rules here and if you go to firewall policy if you try to create the firewall policy you will see that there is no option available to do the source NAT because uh, you will have to explicitly define the rule here in central source NAT to do the source NATing And in the next video, I'll show you how to configure the central source NAT. And I'll show you a simple scenario as well in the next video. If you have any question, do leave them in the comment section. And see you in the next video. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Bye-bye.